Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TRNX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday and you know where I talked about how you know the final portion of Friday was pretty crazy. The price just exploded upwards. But we got the answer to that question, the question being, wow, you know, that, that was crazy move. Is this the start of something bigger? No, nope, it was definitely not the start of anything bigger. In fact, that was almost like a little miniature pump and dump right there where the price was right there, exploded upwards, and now all of a sudden today, the price is literally actually a little bit lower than where that whole thing started. So when you can draw triangles like this, that's not a good thing. That is you know, almost like a pump and dump triangle. Big move up, down, right back to where it started, and you have that, you know, the pump and dump triangle, we'll call it. Now, can the price you know, make another move back upwards? Absolutely, and also, I'm not saying that the company is a pump and dump. I don't know anything about the company. I'm making all these statements based strictly on how the price has acted. So as far as that late movement from Friday was concerned, there was just no true power behind it. As far as levels of support now going forward into Tuesday, that 60 cent mark is, or excuse me, the 80 cent mark, definitely a, a key level. Going back through the history of things, you can see on several occasions, the price has gotten around that area, including the final 30 minutes today and bounced right off that level. So that'll be the initial area. If that level cannot hold up, then you're gonna to wanna to keep a, a close eye on that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. Keyword being moving, because yes, right now it is valued at 77, but that line is gonna move and therefore that value is gonna move and change as Tuesday and Wednesday play out. So just keep that in mind in the event the price does drop below that 80 cent mark. In the event though, this is some sort of bottom the price starts to head back upwards. Let's talk about a couple areas of resistance. Initial level to watch, gonna be right up there at the 86 cent mark. If 86 can be broken, the next key overall level of resistance up there right around the 93 cent mark. So we'll see what happens with it going forward. Volume dropped off quite a bit, um, but that, that's not a massive red flag, but you don't want volume to remain too low for too long because then people uh, go start to chase other stocks that have more volume. Uh, so you, know, you wanna make sure that doesn't occur, but we'll see what happens with it. The week is young, only Monday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.